All right, everybody, back here with another review, and I'm I'm very excited about this one. Um, I've already done a review on the NV100 um, IR night vision scope. I'll put the link to that video in in uh, the description of this video. But they sent me a new one, their new updated version, the NV400, and this thing is a beast. This thing is nice. But they want me to, instead of just doing a review on this, they want me to do a comparison between the two. Um, so I'm going to give you the pros and cons, give you all the specs on both of them. Um, I live in a state where they're uh, trying to tell us what kind of guns we can own and stuff. So I'm not going to be showing a firearm in this video. I have had this, both of them mounted on firearms and, and, they both have their place on whatever you're going to do. Um, so we'll start with the MB100 and we'll go back and forth. I got the books here. They got very good manuals. This has a really nice manual. It's big. You can read everything. This one has a good manual too, just a little bit smaller. Um, I'll be putting pictures up on the screen. Go to their website. I'll put the links to both of these for the Amazon links in the description of this video too, but the the Amazon description, I mean, they, they put everything in that, on this scope and this one both, and very well explained and everything like that. Um, the NV100 is a one by three digital zoom. The NV400 is a one by 13. It's 4x52 power, so the way you get that is, and you multiply that by 4, and that's how you get 4 to 52 power. Um, there was a lot, little confusion on that with some other videos that I've watched on this. They didn't understand how they could get 52 power, but that's how you get it, um, by doing the digital zoom. And it's very easy. It's right here. You just turn this. While it's on, and it just it zooms it in right away. Um, the NB100 has a side parallax here, and that goes 15 yards to basically infinity. This one goes from 4.37 yards to infinity, and in the parallax on this, the focus is right here on the end. You just turn this, and it's really nice. Um, really focuses nice. Um, the pro of this one, whether you want, you know, whether you consider it a pro or not, I do, is because you can put this scope, which is the Rapid Fire Plus scope, it's 3 to 12 by 56, it's a very nice scope all on its own, you have to just sight it in, it's got the turrets just like any other scope, it does have a lighted reticle right here. So this scope alone is, is a very nice scope, very nice. But the NB100 Commander right here that fits onto here, it snaps on like this. <clears throat> so then you have this scope alone on any gun that you want to put it on. But then you have this that you can use as a monocular at night. So if you have this and this, you can use this as monocular and then use this for shooting or, or you can just use this to shoot through all on its own. This one doesn't need any power. This scope does not need any power with this off of it. So they're both rechargeable. I'll get into that in a minute. This one, you have to have it powered up to see through it. That's, there's nothing, no way around that. Um, but this one, you can buy extra rings like this of different various sizes and you can put these on your other scopes that you already have on your other rifles or whatever and then this just clips on there so then you just made your other scope on your other rifle capable of night vision or daytime vision where you can record which is very nice i mean i i really like it this one comes with uh with caps on both ends that flip open. 
and uh, comes with an extra eyepiece. The MB100 already has the eyepiece on it. And then they, uh, they also send you a roll of tape for your other scopes. If, if these um, adapters don't fit quite snugly, you just wrap some tape around there and, and put these on and then you tighten them down with the Allen screws. Very nice. Comes with a cleaning cloth, comes with all the Allen wrenches that you need to, um, to mount it, adjust it with some extra O-rings. Um, it, it's a really nice unit by itself, you know, or as a monocular or just a scope. There's a lot of uh, flexibility with this with this one because, like I said, you can take this off of here, put it on any other scope that you already have with the adapters. Very nice. This one has a, a flip open scope cap at the end for when you're shooting daylight. There's no way you can not have that clipped in. You can hear it audibly click in there. This, this unscrews, I mean, this, this shade here is there for uh, low light. This one here, if it's really bright, just screw that in. And then at nighttime, flip it back out of your way. So this one has the IR built in right here. And you can zoom that in and out to focus your IR. Um, this one has an IR illuminator here with three adjustable settings and then you can you can zoom this into near to far and it's got a, a screw here to where you can adjust this to make sure once you get your get this mounted to your gun you can adjust this to get it pinpointed right on your crosshairs also comes with uh, a built-in range finder you can get them without the range finder this one came with it very nice. All the buttons on this one, when it is on, are backlit, which is very nice. I like that because the ones on the NV100, they're not hard to remember where you're at, but all your buttons are right here, but they're not backlit, so it's, it's very hard to see them in the dark. This one comes with one battery. You unscrew it here, and the battery's in there. You open the side here, this little compartment here. That's where your SD card is, and that's where your charging port is to charge that battery. This one does take daytime and nighttime video and photos, exactly like this one. Um, this one is a little bit different. It has two internal batteries, plus right here, you take this off and there's another battery in here. So there's actually three batteries in this. This has a six hour runtime. This has an eight hour runtime. Um, but there's no, no turrets for this one to set. This has got a one shot zero, which is super nice. This is the first scope I've ever owned that had a one shot zero. And I'll get into that in a minute. But you take that cap off. There's no turret here, like I said. It's got your cover here. Your SD card is there, which you can use from 64 to 256 gigabyte card. And then it's got another charging port here. And then it's got this micro HDMI cord that plugs into here. And you can plug this into uh, a PC that's sitting right next to you while you're sighting it in or whatever you're going to do. And uh, you can see it right on the screen as you're sighting it in or you can see the menu on the screen you can see everything while you're while you're adjusting everything and but it does have a great menu on the inside of here and i was going to video that but when you when you when you hit video all that goes away you don't see that inside here is inside your uh, viewing when you're when you're looking through it day or night it has a e-compass has a gyroscope to keep it level it has the rangefinder right there. Um, I know there's a lot of things I'm missing. You know, I'm just trying to show you. I mean, the menu here, you, you, you turn power it on, put, push, do a long hold on here, and then you just turn this to go to all the menu settings. I'll put the menu settings on the screen as well. 
just so you can see what it looks like. It's very easy to follow. You just turn this to get to whatever you want on that menu. Do a short click and then you adjust it to whatever you want. It's got a lot of settings. I was kind of overwhelmed when I first looked at it, but then once I read through it, and uh, like I said, the manual is, is phenomenal, and the website is phenomenal. Um, even I could, even I figured this one out. This one comes with uh, a charger for that battery that does come out. There's actually there's another battery inside here in your illuminator, so you can charge it either that way, or you can charge it with a Type C charger and plug it right into here to charge everything you know that the only thing that that does not charge when you plug it in here is your illuminator comes with an allen wrench for adjusting everything and it comes with two other sizes for the other different components that you might need to adjust or when you're mounting the scope um, comes with a scope cap comes with two Two eyepieces. This is a shorter one. I have the longer one on here now. They're aluminum threads. The whole body on both of these is aluminum. All the caps are aluminum. They're waterproof. Um, and this is really nice. I mean, it's got really nice threads. This screws right on there. No, no worries. This top battery is a 50 millimeter battery. It does come with a longer case here that you can put a bigger battery in, 56 millimeter. 65 I'm sorry 65 millimeter battery so you can put actually a bigger battery in there and get longer runtime than that it's it's insane so I'm trying to think of what else it comes with here um, I'm just going to go through the books on both of them just really quickly this is a 1 to 3 digital zoom this one over here is 1 to 13 like I said 4 to 52 power this is 4 to 24 power um, this, this video resolution is in 1080p to 720p. This one you can actually video in 4K. It's, and it's got an excellent picture. They recommend at night to use the 4K in 30 feet per second. And in daytime, 4K 120 feet per second. But you also have 4K in 60 feet per second. You can go to 2K in 30 feet per second, or you can go to full HD in 30 feet per second. Um, the night vision range on this, 437 yards with this illuminator at night, 437 yards. The night vision range on this one, 328 yards. So and this one will take up to a 256 gig card as well as this one. Um, the weight, just... The night vision part here, 12 ounces. The scope by itself is uh, 26.3 ounces, which comes up to about 2.5 pounds total. This one's a beast. I mean, this this has got some weight to it. It it is, but it I mean, it's solid. There's no no rattle, no moving parts, no nothing. I mean, it is a beast. It comes in the body only, without the illuminator. And without the rangefinder, it's 2.4 pounds. So you're looking at about the same weight when this is attached to here. But, like I said, it, it is worth it. They are both 30 millimeter tube, come with 30 millimeter rings. They fit on a Picatinny rail. I believe what I'm going to do, I have had this mounted on another gun. I did the one shot, zero. Awesome. They explain it very well on the website. They explain it very well in the manual. First time, I, like I said, I've ever used a one-shot zero, and it was spot on. 30 millimeter tube, or rings, but this one here has very, very minimal adjustment. So, you, you know, the, you can't move it back and forth very much. There's, there's not a lot of adjustment to get it on that Picatinny rail. I mean, it, it goes on there fine, but you have to have a Picatinny rail, rail for that. This one has just a little bit more movement here. It is what it is, you know, but you're looking at a, a very precision piece of equipment here. Um, all, the, all the functions here are very easy to see with this backlit buttons. Um, you can go from daytime mode to starry mode 
to night mode. Um, the video format is MP4. Um, there are five different options for color and seven different reticle options. I'll put those on the screen as well. Um, just it, it goes it goes right down the menu in this book and tells you how to adjust every single thing. Um, I will say that your screen aspect you can go 4.3 or 6 16.9 or small. I would keep it in 16.9. That's what I would that's what I would um, video in. Um, this has a first focal plane and a second focal plane. The first focal plane means when you zoom in, your um, your crosshairs get bigger as you zoom in. The second focal plane, the crosshairs stay the same. Whichever one you prefer on that. Um, See, this one has a picture inside of a picture that's got a 2x zoom on the top. I'll put a picture of that. Um, it's got you can change your movie clip time from two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Um, your uh, it, it does have a both of these do have a laser on them. I will say that. So it has a brightness, a contrast, and a saturation. They come set on 50, and I'm going to leave them there because if they're set on 50, if you do not adjust that, it, it'll automatically, um, it, it'll be auto. It'll be in basically in auto mode. So you, you, you really don't need to mess with that at all. It's got a, the date and the clock settings on there so you can see them right on the screen. I'm going to get outside and try to get a few clips of the daytime video and nighttime video with this and then I'll put them on this video and then I'll come back and I'll give you a, a last minute rundown on what I think. I'm not going to do any video clips with this one because they're already in the other review that I did on this so just go watch that review first and you'll see all the video clips day and night. Um, it, it was very clear at night. I remember doing that review and uh, I mean, I think I had the target at 100 yards at night, and it was it was very very clear. You could see it plain as day. So, with that said, let me uh, throw up some clips here of some uh, day and nighttime video, and we'll come back. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, here's daytime mode, 4K, 120 frames per second. I got a couple turkey decoys out there in the woods at uh, 100 yards um, winds moving them just a little bit but I tried to do it today because it's really sunny out and I just want to see how this works in, in a sunny environment I got the the uh, sunshade on the front of this scope right now so let me see if I can zoom in for you there's the digital zoom let me see if I can focus this just a little bit better. There we go, that's pretty clear there. So that's in 4K at 100 yards. Turkey targets. Very cool. Very clear now that I focused it a little bit better should have hit it all right everybody here's 100 yards at night sunshade is off those are the turkey decoys 100 yards pretty damn clear just wanted to show this to you and this is zoomed out to I mean the smallest power I can zoom it in just a little bit if you if I can get it to zoom in that's all yeah I mean that's pretty damn clear all right I'll get back to the lair and give you my final thoughts all right everybody well there's my comparison view review on the uh, one leaf 
NV100 versus the Commander NV400. Um, like I said, both of them have a, a place for what you might need. Like this one, like I said, comes off of here. You can put it on any rifle that you have if you got extra adapters. Um, or you can use it as a monocular. The scope is very nice scope as well. They both come with 30 millimeter rings. Um, this one's all in one unit and it does have to have power to be on. This, this, like I said, you can use this as just a scope without this on it. But this one here, you have to have the batteries charged and you have to have power on it to see through it. You gotta have to turn it on. Um, very nice, both of them, like both of them very nice. This one I'm really impressed with. This has everything on it. I mean, it's got the, the range finder here. So it's got the IR illuminator here. It's got the sunshade. You can take, flip that back for, put it back down for daytime. Um, it's got a great zoom on it, a digital zoom here, and then your focus up here. Um, really nice, nicely put together with their menu and functionability. Um, I did get a email from them on their website. They do have a firmware update for this one that includes a uh, ballistic calculator now. So that's just that's awesome. I mean, you put in your all your parameters and uh, specs on your bullet and what you're shooting, and it'll actually tell you on the crosshairs where to hold. If, if you sight it in at 50 yards and you uh, turn on the rangefinder and your target's at 100 yards, it'll show you on the um, reticle where to hold on that, on your crosshairs. So that, that's very, very cool. I mean, for, for what you get in this, this piece of equipment here, I mean, for the price, it's it's a lot of, a lot of scope for the money is what it is. You know, it's not it's not thermal, but it's it's very clear 4K. Um, I just showed you the footage of the video that I did. I mean, I'm still learning a lot, so I'm sorry about it being a little bit shaky, and then it took me a little bit to get it focused. But that's just because I I haven't run it enough. But I'll I'll, I'll get the bugs worked out, and, I, and I'm gonna really enjoy using this for hunting so and this one too um and this every everything here is is top notch everything is aluminum well built very tough durable um i, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with this um it, it, they're they're both very nice units so they want me to do a comparison and that's that's my comparison right there i mean like i said they they both have their own place in in your uh, in your armory, you know, whether whatever you're doing, there's there's a specific niche for this one compared to this one, but um, yeah, very functional. So, hope you liked this video. Hope you learned something. I hope it helped you. If you have purchased one of these, um, go back and check. My other video out, I'll put it in the description for the review on this one as, as well. And there's video footage of that with this one at day and night. So just check them, check that one out and, uh, and check this one out too. Go to One Leaf AI. I will uh, put all their links in the description. And uh, I'm, like I said, I, I don't think you can go wrong. They're, this, they're both very nice units. So. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. I appreciate it. Um, till the next video, good luck with everything.